of these in the back of the car. Do accept no violation, press that grip so you lose so far. No, you know man can shoot from far. Two bad bees in the back of the car. Do accept no violation, press that grip so you lose so far. No, you know man can shoot from far. Don't you for one Yo, yo, yo. What's good? It's Jonah Goodman here to talk boxing. Let's get right into it. Does Teofimo Lopez have mental health disorder or mental health problems? Teofimo is doing one of the four things. Either he does have mental health problems or he doesn't. Or his dad is the problem or he's just trying to sell the fight. It's one of those four reasons. I don't know which one it exactly it is. But you see when he fought Combosis the first time, um, that's when the mental health symptoms started to become more um, aware. Now, um, I'm not going to say mental health symptoms, I'm going to say just delusion. That's when the delusion started to be more not to be noticeable. Like when he lost that Combosis fight, the, the thing he should have really said was, listen, I felt like I won, but the better man... The better man won today, man. There's a lot of things I need to work on. Um, congratulations to Combosis. You know, I'm going to let him have this one. I'm going to be back. I'm come back strong. You know. And then they say, oh, do you want to fight him again? You know, I got to sit back with my team. I got to ask him. I got to, um, you know, go through a lot of things and, you know, come back, see how we feel. And we can run it back. But right now I need to go back and match the drawing board and figure some things out. But thank you for everyone who came out tonight. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm a comeback strong. I promise. And um, yeah, he didn't take it well, man. But instead, he he decided to go the villain route, and and he thought he won the fight. And that's the first time when Tio Fumo basically started to make enemies. Um, yeah, that's when he's decided to to go the villain route. And ever since then, he just hasn't been liked. Now he's about to fight Josh Taylor right now, and both Josh Taylor and Tio Fumo. If I'm being honest, haven't had the best performances. It would be a real shock to see Teofimo Lopez, you know, pull off the upset. I think if Teofimo does that, I think he actually washes away all the the the, the most silliest things he's done, or you know, all the all the crap he's been doing this whole point um, ever since he fought Combosis. You know what I mean? But if he wins, he, this delusion is just going to like carry on. It's just going to get to the point where he's going to start... You know, he's already talked about black fighters and that. He's already been disrespectful in that regard. Um, you know, I don't know who's going into... I don't know who is, um, who's, who's brainwashing him. Maybe it's his dad who thinks this and then he just regurgitates all the rubbish that he says. Or maybe it's because he's chilling with Roly Romero. And Roly Romero is kind of... Um, he's kind of goofy, man. So... You know, if you chill with a goofy, you're going to become one. So, um, it could be many reasons why T.O. Fumo is like this, man. He needs to chill with real guys. Guys who can t tell him the truth and guys who can actually give him the reality of it. Because sometimes being a boxer, it's, it, being civil, civilized is good, uh, uh, is, is, is bad, you know. You know, you know what they said in Rocky, in Rocky 3, you know. When a fighter, you know, becomes civilized, you know, that's a bad thing, that's, that's a bad thing, but when a fighter becomes delusional, man, it's like, he's going down that, there needs to be some sort of balance, man, he needs to be able to come down to some sort of reality and be able to say, listen, yeah, I need to, I need to, um, yeah, I need to actually be checking myself really for real, like, um, and, uh, I think... Teofima has become civilized, but I think he's just putting on his act, you know, um, you know, just to sell the fight. And uh, he feels like, you know, he, I need to believe in myself. Um, you know, Teofimo, um, I feel like uh, at this point, man, he knows, you know, that, you know, listen, do I still got it? When he said that, that lets you know that there's a, that there is a, a, a Teofimo that has some sort of um, reality that has some sort of um you know like okay maybe something's i've done something wrong here you know he's not just straight out like yeah 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 man i'm the best like you know what i mean he ain't that kind of like like he, he he's got some civilness about him man like but um he beats josh taylor it's good but it's also bad because 
I think sometimes a loss is just that he he can he's capable of being Josh Taylor, but his mental is all jacked up, man. And I'm gonna say, um, out of AJ and Teofimo, who has the worst, who has the worst mental, like jacked up mental? I gotta say, Teofimo has the more jacked up one. I don't think AJ one's more jacked up. I just think when you've come to a point of AJ, when you've got that Anthony Joshua money, that killer instinct's not gonna be there, bro. You're not gonna have that. You're not gonna have that venom you had when you were coming up the ranks. And Joshua's lost that spite, so you know it's hard to just refuel it. And when you when you've just had so much money, you've lived the best life you've done. You literally reached the top of the mountain, like bro. Like at the end of the day, Joshua is still winning. You know he came back even after the music lost, had that mental breakdown, but he regrouped himself. He came back, and you know he got that win from Jermaine Franklin. It wasn't a pretty one, but he still got it. And um, Teofimo, obviously. Uh, you know, he has two wins, which is good, but they haven't been the most, uh, they haven't, he, he, he questioned himself, man. At least Joshua didn't question himself, man. At least he, he, he just knew that, you know, listen, man, Jermaine, Tom, Jermaine Franklin is a tough fighter, but he said, Teofimo said, do I still got it? You know what I mean? Like, um, Teofimo, um, Josh Taylor is probably his last chance because if, if he doesn't take this fight seriously, Josh Taylor will knock him out in brutal and cold fashion. But I believe, you know, the hand of God is going to save Teofimo in that fight. And um, he will have a chance, you know, to show people that he still got it. Because if he can just give Josh Taylor even a remotely tough fight, people can just use that one round or that one, just that one little part of the fight where he was like, whoa, he showed me something I never knew he had. Remember, Teofimo beat Lomachenko, so if he can beat the likes of a Lomachenko, yeah, then he 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 can definitely get to that ment that mental strength where he can find a a victory through Josh Taylor if he can just like stay focused, stay grounded, and you know keep his head down and just put in the work. Like Teofimo is not a guy like I like I like to see him fight, but he needs to sort out what's in his head in it, and um, you know he's been through a lot, man. He had a woman. That he was with, that he thought he was, she was the one, and it didn't go, it didn't go his way. You know that woman ended up taking half of his money, and um, you know that that messes you up, man. That really does mess you up. So, you know, not only is his, ma is his mind messed up, but his heart is also jacked up a little bit now because now it's like, you know, he's probably trying to, he's probably replaying all the bad memories that ever that he had with her now, and that was a, someone he thought he was gonna be with forever. So you don't know how much fighters have to go through that in the ring. They have to delete certain things out of their mind. They have to stay towards the win. Um, so Teofimo, you know, he has to... He just has to forget about that, you know. He has to strengthen his mind and he has to... He just has to um, get through that. But you have to understand, these fighters have... Um, a lot of these guys do have relationships and they do go through woman problems as well, you know. The, you know, they're boxers, but man, they're human beings, man. They got females that, 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 that want to see them, that want to be with them. And, you know, he, they got this prop, they got problems, man. They got baby mama, baby mama problems. So listen, man, hey, um, dear female, you know, needs to sort out the outside, the external factors outside the ring and then come back in the ring and group and let's get it. So I hope he's done that. This fight is going to be interesting to see it's next Saturday. So I'm putting money on Josh Taylor, um, just because you know Josh Taylor. Um, although he came off a controversial win, uh, you know I feel like Josh Taylor is taking this fight seriously, and um, I think he wants to. Um, he has more to prove, man. Uh, Josh Taylor doesn't want to lose to Teofimo, especially this Teofimo right now. He's looking vulnerable, so I think he's gonna come there to fight, and he's from he's he, he's got grit, man. Josh Taylor's got grit, um, you know, and he has pride. He's not going to let himself lose to Teofimo, you know, especially to Teofimo saying all this rubbish, man. He's going to train hard, you know. It's just going to make him bite down on the gum show. And if Teofimo, you know, has his number, then, he, you know, Josh Taylor going to go out swinging, you know what I mean? He's not going to let, you know, Teofimo just tee off on him and, 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 and start, you know, beating him. Now he's going to try and fight back. So, 
Hey, I respect that. Hey, be sure to like this video, comment and subscribe, and let me know your thoughts in the comment section. JG out.